What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come! It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, the young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers. And a more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy. As for Spyro, he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, true. But one of them, nonetheless. I see you, my little glowing friend. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Matter, little Spyro, you can't fly. Oh, that's right, you walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you. Ah, must be tough to lose all the time. Ah! All right, let me out of here, you overgrown fungus. Spyro, seriously, let me a hand here, will you, brother? Geez, Sparks, I don't know. Frogweed's gotta eat, too. Spyro, whack it! Do something! I'm your buddy! My wings are getting moldy! <laughs> Ugh. Now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. See you later, sucker! So much for gratitude. Out in there. Yeah, pfft. Excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Oh, where's that little mat gone now? Hey, has everybody seen a giant purple thing around here? I seem to have lost mine.
of here and fight me like a thing, whatever you are. You pathetic wretch. I've had about enough of you. Sparks, look out! No! Was that fire, dude? Take care of him! I gotta report the sender! Are you okay? You almost torched me, dude. Wait. You breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flames from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. No, yeah, some help. You nearly turned me to ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing fire. All right? I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me. Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh! Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all, but in fact an exile from an unknown distant land. So, you, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere. And I've got to find it. Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you. Because I'm always with you. But I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure I'm wrong on a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up, your nose clean, and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. So, hard as it was, Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know. Bye. Bye. 